At the Intermountain Healthcare Hospitals, about 30,000 babies are delivered every year. Of those, almost all are healthy and go home with their families after a short stay in the Well Baby Nursery. But about 2,500 babies every year are admitted to our newborn intensive care units. And of those, about 10% require a special mechanical ventilator to breathe in order to get enough oxygen into their blood and enough carbon dioxide off. It's like many treatments, it does a world of good, but it also does some harm. The biggest harm is that it leads a path toward infection. The Intermountain Healthcare Newborn Intensive Care Units are all involved in research projects. We've tried to improve outcomes of our newborn uh, intensive care unit patients by reducing airway infections and reducing the number that go home on supplemental oxygen and have done so with the development of a new solution that we add to the airway system. This mannequin represents a baby with respiratory failure. High salt solutions can actually damage the lining of the airway of a newborn baby and make this baby more susceptible to acquire an infection. So basically we patterned a solution based on the solution that nature has provided babies within their own trachea and airways, mimicking that solution in its contents and making that in the uh, pharmacies in a sterile manner. That solution that's called Respia we've tested now in three different clinical trials at Intermountain Healthcare and the babies getting the new solution did better in terms of fewer infections and fewer of them had to go home on supplemental oxygen. Clinical research plays very much into that model because improving outcomes through clinical research not only gives better care but generally gives more cost-effective care.